Okay, today on Chris Does What, I grew up with this belt on this engine. This is the uh, 3 liter Merc Cruiser, and uh, to get the belt on, you have to take some of the front apart, the mounting system. So, let's look into this and I'll show you how I did it. I'm going to be using the jack from Get Jacked to hold the engine up. That's one of our videos. It is. <laughs> And I'm going to uh, take uh, the mount off and the pulley off and get this belt on. So we can get water circulating and 12 volt juice flowing from our alternator. It's going to be awesome. Okay, the first thing I did before I started this project was I used this jack, this is an electric jack, right here to hold up the engine on this uh, alternator mount. Do not put it on your pan, your oil pan. You will crush your oil pan and that's bad. So put it somewhere where there's actually metal, like this. So now we're looking at a top side view and you see I've already loosened these bolts. If these are 5 8 bolts and you may have to use like a big wrench to get a little bit more leverage on this little B wrench. So depending on how rusty yours are. But once you break them loose, they should come right out. And then you can stick a ratchet on it. And you can see this is already getting loose in here. That just comes right out. That will allow you to get your belt in place. And the engine didn't fall down. So we took this out. I might clean this up a bit while it's out because it's greasy. But now we have a clear path to install our belt right through here. All we have to do now is loosen up or take off this pulley because we can't squeeze the belt in between the pulley and this uh, motor mount right here that's holding the other side of the engine up. Okay. Once you have your uh, pulley loose, then you want to put your belt in place. And this is where we hope our belt fits. It's on. Now let's put a bolt in there to hold it in place. Okay, so our pulley's held in place. Now we're going to have to loosen up our alternator a bit. This is also a half. And there we go. 40 inch belt worked just fine. And then we'll take a screwdriver or a big wrench and tighten it on our alternator. Okay, Danielle saved me here. Uh, it goes on this back pulley, this front pulley. I'm guessing goes to our power steering pump and then there has a mystery pulley. Which we don't have a power steering pump. We just go and muscle through it. Okay, so I can get a uh, half a twist off that, right there. Okay. 
Okay, that pulley's on. Now we're going to uh, put it back together. Can you hand me that rag, sweetie? Okay, so we wiped out some of that grease and we're gonna put this back in. This is the moment of truth when we figure out if our jack has held it in place and we can put it back together. And there it goes. Once, once you have the top in, you put the bottom in. And we are golden. Now, of course, this bolt down here at the bottom is way too long, but that was courtesy of the mechanic we sent this to. And now that you see, we're actually doing all the work. <laughs> and once you uh, have them tied enough, that's where that breaker bar comes in handy. So we'll tighten these down as well as we can. And then we'll put our breaker bar on it and add a little bit more torque. Without breaking them. Don't break the bolt because that would be a bad day. And we don't like bad days. Good to go. Once that's uh, done, make sure you put all your screw your bolts back in your pulley. And now that we have a belt to hold it in place, we don't have to use our hand. Then you want to come after with a wrench and make sure you get a good amount of torque on. Not a lot. And after you run this. You want to come back and check this again. You always want to double check your work. And there we go. The belt is on. Once everything is secure and you're sure nothing's going, you can just lower your jack back down. An electric jack makes it a lot easier. Okay, so that is all it is to put down that belt. I thought it was going to be harder myself. And, uh, you know, I read on other forums and things like that. And so hopefully I put a, together a video that makes it easier. Because I'm not a big fan of reading. I'd rather watch a video. But uh, it is what it is. So here's the jack we used. Here's the jack we used to uh, hold the engine up. And we have a video on this as well. It's not a bad jack and it has worked very well. Also, if you want to see the rest of the Restore of this boat, just hit the playlist. It's uh, up in the top on the little I, whichever Binge. side. Is. Just binge it. Or down in the description. Yeah, you can just catch up, see what you, you, know, see what you missed, or see why I screwed up. And well, you'll just have to watch to see. <laughs> and Danielle's in there cooking. Go check out dinewithdanielle.com. Wonderful recipes daily. So. Well, daily. I mean, house, I mean, but you know, weekly. weekly on the website. Yeah. I get them daily. I couldn't keep up with that. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> I get them. I get them uh, daily. You get them weekly. Right. So they're awesome recipes. And if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button. It's right down there. It looks like this. And y'all please take care. <laughs>